What's up guys? Welcome back to Savannah's channel. Before we get started, make sure you click the subscriber. Turn on notifications. Give this video a huge thumbs up, especially if you learned something today. So, Savannah is a Girl Scouts thing today. And so she is not going to be able to do a video. So I decided I would do one for you guys right now. And I thought I'd show you guys how to kind of fix the retaining wall. First thing is, this retaining wall, when we bought this house, um, it, there was no glue on it. The Over there, if you look at where the uh, green is, that's where uh, the blue, or where the blue is where is where the yard was when we bought the house. And over the last couple of years, it's kind of gone through this wall. And so I decided I would fix the wall since I see that there was no glue in it. There was no cement, no nothing to keep it in place. So I figured out the other day, so I decided I would fix it for you guys. For, first thing is, I took down the wall yesterday and I'm going to start working on it. First thing you're gonna want, we got this landscape construction adhesive here. And this will help glue in the stuff. Easy way to do it is, you see over here, open this. Use it, that's, that's a knife. And we'll see if this, uh, this tube is open, if not. Okay, so then, since this tube does, isn't open, you know what you do? It has this lovely little pokey thingy. And you should, now, as you see, it's kind of, I poked it in there. Now it's, the glue is open. And now it's going to, the glue will run out freely. So you're going to find out one thing. With this is. This is what it looks, currently looks like. We're going to hopefully be able to get all these bricks back into place. And make it look pretty again. I'm going to try and wash off most of these bricks. As you see, I just took, when I took down the a wall, I just reversed everything. And I'm going to try and get you guys in a position that you guys can see what I'm doing. And hopefully it'll be good. So... I do have my handy hose here. So I may wash off some of these bricks here as I do it. And main, re main reason why I'm just washing them off is so that way yeah, I don't have all the dirt and debris on them, all the sand that is currently on them. The nice thing about these bricks is there's a little lip here that's that is why it stayed so so well so for so long. You wanna kinda of read the instructions on here? Um let's see. Okay. So what I'm gonna do. We're gonna glue the first piece off. Maybe I'm gonna get the glue to stop. I don't want the glue to start dripping all over everything. And then I'm gonna put this one. Ooh. 
into place, guys. Let's go. I'm gonna put. I tried washing these bricks off last night. It didn't go super amazing. As you guys can tell. And I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm putting glue on each one, but that it will help the whole thing seal up nice. You know, hopefully will help prevent a lot of the dirt and debris coming through again. And it will all kind of wash away. I got a little bit of the glue sticking out a little bit. So we'll show you guys, we'll kind of keep popping in here and I'll show you guys what we you keep doing. And hopefully this will look very pretty at the end. So welcome back guys. I had to run to the store. I ran out of the glue. So guess what? I had to go back and get more. With that mind, I am now opening it again. Need another thing. And gonna start this project again. It's, it hasn't taken me that terribly long. But it's almost done. And we have a few more. And we have a little bit more left. And as I was thinking about when I went to the store to get go get another thing in glue, I know that there's going to be some team who's going to be like, oh, you need a support. You, you should do, be doing a support wall, blah, blah, blah. You know, you should have support in this wall. And I just thought I'd let everyone know this, this wall was originally built. Uh, five years ago, oh, probably over five years ago by the previous owner of the house. And it's been, it's been standing with no glue for at least five years now. And the only reason why I even figured out that there was no glue on it is because I was mowing up there and I hit the top, the very top pillar. 
I hit the very, very top part of the pulse. I, I should say the very top brick. And at which point you get the, the top the top brick smooth. So you know what? I know this that this wall stood at least five years before me doing this. My only goal in gluing it is that it will hopefully stand another more five another five years at least or longer. So I don't really care if it stands just five years or ten years, whatever. Uh, I'm just hoping that it stands a little bit longer. And yeah, it looks presentable. This wall was a, is a little different than the last retaining wall I did too. Whereas uh, this one actually has these pieces up this cement on the back here. So it's got like here, this little lip here. So it's kind of made to lock into place. I can honestly say that the hardest part about this whole thing was actually eh, rinsing the bricks off from all the dirt they got underneath them all from it from it being here in, in the first place. That that has been the toughest part about this whole thing is actually washing all the bricks off. You wouldn't think that that was the hardest part, but it was. Mainly because these things get heavy moving them all over the place. As you guys can tell, I'm almost done. Got one more layer here. On. And I have the cap. And if you guys want to know something, I have not skipped at all on the glue. I had lots of glue, lots of this cement stuff. Cement glue. Yeah, I can. And now I'm going to hear the next person. Well, why did you do so much? Well, why not? It's going to help it stick better. It's going to help it stick better, right? And, and by the way, I didn't even have to glue this thing together. It would be okay. But, you know what? I want to be able to mold the yard and not have to worry about this wall ever falling down on me or coming down. And I'm gonna do a little bit more, a little bit different than this, but the, the next part of this project, you're gonna have to watch another video. Because I am gonna let this stuff dry overnight and then I will probably, either tomorrow or Saturday, I will come back to this to finish up this project. As you can tell, it's actually shaping it very nice and it doesn't take that long to do it. This wall to help this was probably with the original owner, probably the neighbor about 100 bucks, maybe, maybe 200 bucks. I spent $20 on glue for it. E each two of the glue is uh, $10 and $10 is some change.
so it wasn't that bad to put the price of glue it together. And make it last hopefully another 10 plus years. Now is the time to put to put the cap on. As you see, the cap goes on either way, either side. I want to see which way. Can't remember how this was. Originally, so I'm, yeah, we can see. I think that's how it was. I'm just going to glue here, glue on both sides. Well, the reason why I figured it out is because this is kind of a smooth side on the side. So I'm trying to think of how the previous owner did it. And I'm just putting this wall Well, let's just bring this wall together. And just so everyone's aware, this has only taken me total time about well, an hour. This hasn't been any super hard labor. I I did chose a cooler day to do it, so it's not like I'm doing it on a 90 degree day. So this may be may have been a little harder if I chose a different day. But I didn't. It just wiped off a little bit of the glue that was oozing out a little bit. But the glue really dries really fast, so it is that is an advantage to it. And now the cap is on. Looking good. Like a good wall should. And like I said, tomorrow or Saturday, I have a feeling it'll be Saturday, I will show you guys the next, next thing to do to this wall. I'm gonna throw this tube of uh, glue away. So as you see, looks very nice, right? There is a gap behind this wall right now. 
Like I said, I'm intentionally leaving that gap right now, mainly because I want to do something else that will help hopefully hold this wall up a little bit better. I do still have some dirt here. As you see, I still have some bricks here, down here. So I will have to pretty much dig this, this dirt up. I should have probably put in a wheelbarrow and get rid of it right away, but I don't know how much I'm still gonna need. I'm probably still gonna have to dump some up here. So it's good that I didn't get rid of it yet. So then I'll clean it up and life will be good. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you guys find this helpful. I'm gonna just let you guys know the biggest thing is when you do a retaining wall like this make sure you glue it together it does hold the last wall I did it was just decorative and was like too high maybe two of these bricks high not not very tall, tall. use the same tip glue and it was just made for a decoration verse from the sidewalk to the yard and guess what Every time anyone tried kicking it or hitting it, I ran it, hit, you know, I hit with the lawnmower, you know, quickly, just ran, you know, not really intentional run hitting it, but I kind of tapped it, kind of like touched these top pieces. And it never moved once. After about five years, it was definitely still staying there. So this glue is amazing stuff. Thanks for watching this video. Hope, hope you find it informative. And remember, almost any home project, the hardest part is just deciding to do the work. So just remember that. Just do the work at first and get it done. And get it done quickly because I didn't want to have to redo this again, but yeah, it was an adventure. It was fun. See you later. Or hopefully, Savannah will see you later. Bye.